Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam and today I'm going to show you how you can make this easy crochet spring cardigan. So here's the cardigan that we're making today. You can see it's pretty long. So this cardigan is made up of three panels and then we're going to be attaching the sleeves to the side afterwards. For this project, I'm using some acrylic yarn. This is a weight three yarn here or a DK weight yarn. I, I believe the recommended hook was a size four, but I wanted it to be a little more flowy with the fabric. So I sized up to a 5.5 millimeter hook, which is what I will be using for the body. And then I also have a 4.5 millimeter hook that I'm gonna use for the ribbing on the cuffs. So here is the pattern that we're going to be working this cardigan in. It's one row of double crochet, followed by one row of mesh stitch, one row of double crochet, three rows of mesh stitch, and then it's going to repeat. And then when you get to the top of your piece, you want to finish off with one row of double crochet, one row mesh stitch, and one row double crochet, just so that it works out to be the same way that we started. So the pattern will close off at the top and look exactly the same as the bottom. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be making three simple rectangles for this sweater as well as two sleeves. And then we're just going to sew the pieces together at the end. So to get your measurements for this, you wanna first determine how long you want that front panel to be. So I just measured from around my collarbone to a little bit past my shoulder where I want the sleeve to start. So using our tape, we're gonna grab this measurement and call it X and that'll be the length of the front panel. And then for the back, we're going to do two times this measurement plus 23 for the neck. And then you can adjust the 23 to be a little bit less or a little bit bigger depending on your size. It's totally up to you. So for the front panel, we're going to make a chain that is the length of the measurement we just took. For this video though, I'm just going to show you guys a small sample, but you can chain any odd number of stitches to match the measurements we just took. So for my cardigan, I chained 39 for the front panels and I did 101 stitches for the back. But here I'm just doing a small sample just to show you guys how we work the pattern. So I'm going to chain my odd number of stitches, whatever that is. So I'm going to chain my odd number of stitches, make sure that I have the proper amount. Then I'm going to yarn over, come into the fourth chain from the hook here with a double crochet. So just yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. And I'm just going to go ahead and place one double crochet into each chain space along this foundation chain. When I get to the end here, I have one row of double crochets and I should have an odd number of stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my work and chain four. So this is our first row of mesh stitch. So I'm going to do my mesh stitch with extended double crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over, I'm going to skip the first stitch and I'm going to go into this stitch here, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through the last two. So this is how we do our extended double crochet. So I'm going to chain one, do the same thing, yarn over, skip one, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So these are just extended double crochets. Chain one, skip one, and place an extended double crochet into the next stitch. Then chain one, Skip one, extend a double crochet into the next stitch. And we're just going to repeat this all the way down the row. When I get to the end here, I'm going to go into the top of that original chain three with one more extended double crochet. So every row should start and end with an extended double crochet. That's why we do an odd number of stitches for our initial chain. Now I'm going to turn my work, chain three, and do a row of double crochets. So I'm going to place one double crochet into each chain one space and once into each extended double crochet from the row before. So just with a regular double crochet. Once again into the top of each stitch and then into each chain one space. 
And I'm going to continue my double crochets until I get to the end of the row. When I'm at the end here, I want to place one more into that chain one space. And then I'm going to find the third chain, so the third chain here, and place one last double crochet into there. Because remember we did the chain four, so one of those was the chain one space as well. So this is the pattern starting to take shape. So now we have our first three rows. Next we have three rows of mesh stitch. So it's the same process. I'm going to chain four. Skip the first stitch here and place my extended double crochet into this chain space here. And then I'm gonna chain one, skip one, and place my extended double crochet all the way down the row the same way we did last time. So I'll meet you guys back at the end of the row here. So now that this row is finished, it looks the same as the first mesh stitch row we did. We are going to turn our work and put a mesh stitch row on top of that. So I'm going to start again with a chain of four. Skip the chain one space and place an extended double crochet into the top of the one from the previous row. Chain one, skip the chain one space and place an extended double crochet into the one from the row before. And that's it. It's a pretty easy pattern. It's just going to repeat itself and it's so nice. It works up really quickly with the long stitches. Remember when we get to the end here, we want to skip that chain one space and go into the third chain from the initial chain four on the last row. All right, so once we have that, I'm gonna repeat it one more time, and that finishes our pattern repeat. Now we're gonna start again with our row of double crochet and continue the same pattern repeat again. This pattern is just going to repeat itself until we've reached the length that we want our front or back panels or sleeves to be. So now I'm going to start on the sleeve. So the sleeve starts with the ribbing, and then we're gonna fold the sleeve in half when it's finished, and this is how it kind of looks. I'm going to get started with the ribbing. So I'm using my four and a half millimeter hook and I'm going to start with a chain of 16. You can make your cuff longer or shorter if you want. For my sweater, I'm chaining 16 stitches. Once I have my chain, I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And I'm going to place one single crochet into each chain space along this chain. When I'm at the end here, I had a total of 15 single crochets. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and I'm going to work a single crochet all along this row into the back loops of the stitch only. So if you wanna kinda of turn it here to see, we're gonna start by going into the very first one because our chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So through the back loop with a single crochet and then all the way along the row, just working through the back loops with a single crochet. So I'm going to continue this all the way down and I'll meet you guys at the end. So at the end here we have our last space. So we're going to work into that final stitch, not the chain one space, because that doesn't count as a stitch. So we're just going to place one last single crochet here into the final stitch. You can see the ribbing is starting to take shape here. So I'm going to turn my work again, chain one or chain one and then turn, whatever you prefer. And I'm just going to continue working single crochets into the back loop until my cuff is large enough that it wraps around my wrist. If you guys are using my measurements for your sweater, I did a total of 32 rows of ribbing. So 
So now I have here my finished cuff. I did 32 rows total. So you can see it's starting to look really nice and it's super stretchy. Now I'm just going to switch to my five and a half millimeter hook so that I can start working the sleeve. So we're going to be working sideways now, up the sleeve, away from the cuff. And I'm gonna start with a chain of three. This chain three counts as a double crochet and we're going to be working double crochets into the side of those rows of ribbing. So into the same space our chain three is, we're going to place one double crochet and then we're going to look to the next row of ribbing and find the side here. So you can see one row is raised and one row is lowered. So we're gonna look for the next row and we're going to start with one double crochet in that row and we're going to add a second double crochet into that row. So we're adding two double crochets into the side of each row of ribbing so that we get a nice flared sleeve coming out of the cuff. So we're just going to work all the way down with two single crochets into each row of ribbing. And then when we get to the last row here, we're just going to place one double crochet here into this last row so that we end up with an odd number of double crochets. And this is so we can work our original pattern which needs to be done with an odd number of stitches. So now I'm going to do the same pattern we did before, alternating between rows of mesh stitch and double crochet. So I'm going to chain four and start my mesh stitch row. So I'm going to chain four, skip one stitch, put one extended double crochet, chain one, and continue this pattern all the way down. So you can see here that the these rows are kind of looking curled, which is exactly what we want because when we steam everything together, the sleeve is going to come out it's sort of flared away from the cuff. So I continued working in this stitch pattern. You guys can see here, this is the length of my sleeve that I wanted. And I finished the sleeve with one row of double crochet, one row of mesh stitch, and a final row of double crochet. So I'm just going to fasten off here and my first sleeve is done. Now that I have all my pieces done, I'm going to sew the front and back panels together at the shoulder seams. Then I'm going to attach my sleeves along the sides. And once I have that, I'm going to fold my sweater in half sew up the side seams as well as the sleeves. Okay, so once all of our sweater is joined, we're going to start at one of the bottom corners here and just work some single crochets around the edges here so we get this nice clean finish. We're gonna come up the side, work across the back of the neck and down the other front side of the cardigan with two rows of single crochets so that we get this nice clean finish. So I'm just going to attach my yarn here and starting on one of those front corners of the cardigan, I'm going to attach my yarn. And I'm just going to work a row of single crochets. So just evenly place your single crochets along here. I'm doing my best to kind of find even spaces to do that. So I place two single crochets into each of those mesh stitch rows. And then one single crochet into the double crochet rows. Again, two single crochets into the mesh stitch row. And one single crochet into those double crochet rows. And this just kind of helped me to evenly space out my single crochet stitches. Once I'm at the other end of the cardigan here, I'm going to place my last single crochet into the corner. And then I'm just going to turn my work and work another row of single crochet on top of that row. So I'm going to chain one, place one single crochet into the first chain space, 
and one single crochet into each stitch from the previous row. So you can see here it's starting to take shape and it really cleans up the edges. That row of stitches finishes the cardigan. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you try this cardigan out for yourself. If you like this, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time with another tutorial.